Hey, yo guys, it's your boy Shep here, back here with another Pokemon Duel video. Um, so today we are going back into the YouTuber tournament, and our opponent is Choctopus. i um, super excited to play him, so I've already played the matches, so I'm going to go ahead and roll the tape, guys. But before we do, do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, help your boy out, and don't forget to stay tuned for more Pokemon Duel videos. Um, obviously, you know, I shouldn't have to link Choctopus, he's a pretty big channel, but if you don't know who he is, uh, definitely check him out, I'll put a link just in case. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the tape. Alright guys, it is time, so we are going to be facing none other than Choctopus, um, in the common tournament, it is official, there's Chocto, his code is 9, oops, 999, nine, nine. and not that team, not that team. Uh, this team so I didn't make any changes guys, and I'm not gonna lie the reason is is because I've been very busy So I've not had time to do any research. Um, I know plus one might have have a little bit of a comeback But his team looks uh, Interesting definitely interesting so counter-attack hurdle jump double chance the scoop up and X attack now Cacnea, I think I can beat um, The do duo scares me and Shelgon does scare me, so depending on what he does here, I know that I'm going to counter with probably, let's see, so Doduo, let's just double check in, 20, 40, why don't we go for Croconaw, because he does do the most damage, so that way, he if he hits, you know, he'd have to hit three Fury, four Fury Swipes to beat me, now on this one, I do like my chances, with Charmeleon because that 50 would beat the water gun and two rapid spins so he definitely has a lot of spinners on his team which I haven't faced uh, recently so I'm a little worried but uh I don't mind the mirror match here well uh, what are we gonna do here let's put uh, Magnemite right there and I am worried about I was worried about the hurdle jump um, so I want to make sure I'm protected, so I think I'll probably put Poliwag right here next turn. Um, but let's just see what he does here. So the good thing is, is that Cacnea and the Larion, or Laron, um, only have 2 MP, so we can definitely, let's see, 90, yeah, I'm gonna put Poliwag here for now. Um, and then against that Laron, I think I am gonna go for the, let's see, 60, 30, 30, uh, let's go for Ivasaur, why not, Ivasaur, so, I highly doubt he's gonna attack, um, maybe with a double chance or something, gotta be careful of that counter attack, but I think we should be okay, so, I think that our best, our best move here is to double chance with Dodu against, oh my gosh, an X attack going off, layer on on Ivasaur, hit the sleep, hit the sleep, Oh my gosh, a zero against a Harden. Yo, that was awesome. Okay, so. I think I'm going to double chance with Croconaw. Because I think, I definitely don't want the scary face. I want to knock out the uh, the Doduo. So, Croconaw, please do it for me. Oh my god, it worked. No need for the double chance. We have knocked out one of his Pokemon. That's good. And I do have the Hurdle Jump, which means that next turn, I can Hurdle Jump... Um, whatever he faces, and he would have to goal block. Let's just double check here. Does he have a goal block? He doesn't have a goal block, guys. Guys, he doesn't have a goal block, which means that right now he has to knock out a Croconaw in order not to lose. He could scoop up Poliwag, or uh, what am I saying? He has a hurdle jump. He can just hurdle jump over. Um, but even then, I can still go on the entry point, so that'll be good. So, I think that at this point, he's... Oh, wow, he goes for the scoop up. Oh, to surround the crocodile, you brilliant master, you. That was actually pretty smart. Um, so, now we're one against one. Uh, one knockout each. That was... Oh, uh, maybe that was a bad play on my part. I wasted my hurdle jump. Um... He's going to go for a double chance against Magnemite. Hit the T-Wave, buddy. Hit the T-Wave. I know you can do it. And don't hit it again. No. 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 What is this? Holy. A hundred pin missile? Spin again. Nope. 
That was insane damage. So we're definitely going to counter with Geodude here. End our turn. And this is looking a little dicey now, guys. Um, wow, 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 wow. So he still got the hurdle jump. Um, what to do here? I'm actually just going to attack Cacnea. I think I have a pretty good shot to knock him out. And, yep, okay, so we are going to knock out the Cacnea, which is good. Um, and we are going to evolve into the Graveler, I think. I think that'll be a good decision long long term in this game. So if he puts Poliwag on the entry point, then I can just defend with my own Poliwag. But it is very st it's still dangerous. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to Gold Block with, with Graveler. I would much rather... I would feel much safer if I have the Graveler on there. So because he does have the Landslide... Uh, and a solid, solid 50. So, let's go ahead and do that. And I think we're going to rush up with Poliwag. We don't have the Hurdle Jump, but... Um, let's move back here. End our turn. This is a little bit of a stalemate here. I don't want to attack with Charmeleon. Don't attack. He's going to attack. If I get Hypnosis... Okay, well, I didn't get Hypnosis, but... Um, I think I'm going to, just in case, guys, I'm going to X-Attack with Charmeleon. I really, really need to hit an attack here and knock him out, because if not, this Laron will probably Hurdle Jump me. And yes! Okay, awesome. So it worked. So that's good, because now, um, he does, he doesn't have, he has the Hurdle Jump, but he's, he needs to actually bring his Shellgun back, I think. Maybe? Is that what I would do? I don't know what I would do. Because um, if I put my Charmeleon here, if he moves his Shellgun back, I put my Charmeleon here, his Shellgun can hurdle jump me. But if he puts his... Actually, he can't put his Shellgun there. Oh, if he puts him here. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. So if I go on the entry point, though, then he's going to hurdle jump with Shellgun. Uh, what are you... Um, I guess I see it, but I'm going to go ahead and go there with Ivysaur. And he can have my entry point if he wants it, I guess. He might actually just go up with, um, with Dodua right now to counter my Charmeleon, maybe? Not sure what that hurdle jump, not sure what he's thinking here. He's going to attack Ivysaur, oh my gosh. Yes, Ivysaur, the sleep powder. That's actually really, really good for us. So now, I think I'm going to block off this. And I think I might have just won, guys. Is there any way that he can... Unless he puts my... Unless he puts my uh, Poliwag to sleep with his own, then I think I might have just won this game. Come on. Poliwag, do it for me, buddy. Do it for me. Yeah! Oh, Poliwag! I believe in you, buddy! Yes! Yes! Success! Okay. Beating him in the first game. Definitely need to, you know, not get cocky or anything. We need to make sure that we win this second game. Can we sweep Choctopus? We swept Chicken last week, which, uh, you know, it was just a lot of luck on my part. But let's see if we can do it again. So let me go ahead and get the code, guys, and we'll play game number two. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and go into game number two. I actually pressed the wrong button. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and go into game number two. He said he has the same uh, code and everything, so let's find him real quick. And where are you? There he is. First one. So, 999. And we're same team. Obviously, we can't change the teams in the middle of the matchups. Um, so we know what we're going up against, okay? And I think I can beat him. I think I can beat him again. Um, we definitely, you know, I think we have the advantage with our pokes. Um, that Laron is strong, but, you know, the Shellgun, I really, I think the Shellgun has fallen out of favor, and I think it's because of that 1 MP, and he can't really be aggressive. Laron definitely, though, I do, I wish I had a Laron so I could put him in my team. Um, but going first, we're definitely going to go defensive with Poliwag. Um, I think that's a safe move. And I'm kind of all about safe moves right now. So against this Poliwag, we will go ahead and counter with a Magnemite. End our turn. And he might just go aggressive with a Hurdle Jump right now. Nope, he's not going to. Okay. 
But you know what? If I... I'm going to go aggressive with a hurdle jump. And the reason why I'm doing that is because now he can either bring his Doduo back. Um, or he can hurdle jump me with Poliwag. But if he doesn't, I'm going to surround the Poliwag for sure. So I think that's a decent play. Um, we have to see, guys. I don't know. Let's think. The Doduo. What are you doing? 20 Fury Attack. Okay, so he blocks off, which is fine with me. I think I'm going to use Croconaw. Get the surround on Poliwag. And that's at least a Pokemon down. And that's one of his runners. Interesting decision here. I'm going to cap off the entry point. Force him to put a Pokemon on the goal. And now I'm going to run up with Croconaw here. So I think that's decent play here. He's going to block. Um... Go ahead and go up with Charmeleon. I think that none of his Pokemon really counter Charmeleon that well. Well, Laron could hit some big moves there. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly set up the board. Um, I could have gone for the attack with Croconaw on the War Turtle to be super aggressive, but I wasn't really feeling it at the moment. So now I think we are going to go for the attack on the War Turtle. And okay, a scary face is perfect. That's perfectly fine. Um, he has to move back. He will get weight, which is okay. Nothing too bad. We still have the goal block. And he's going to double chance with a Cacnea against what? Poliwag? Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep, Poliwag. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Poliwag has fallen. His, his Cacnea is actually doing work. His Cacnea is pretty strong here. Um... I guess I'll put you on the goal. Self-destruct could be a little bit of a problem, but it's okay. So now, I think that I'm still going to go for the attack on Wartortle. I think that's the safest attack on our part, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to attack with the Bite Instinct. Attack this cro uh, this Wartortle. No! Croconaw, you have failed me, my friend! So now we're in a bad position, because he definitely has the upper hand here. Can Charmeleon Searing Shot? That's awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. So we are going to push up with Ivysaur and hopefully get on a surround on Larion next turn. Ooh, he's not gonna let me. He's not gonna let me. But take down Harden. What's the details on Harden? 60 or below? Okay. Let's X attack. Let's X attack because even if he hits the uh, the 90, we'll we will tie if we hit Iron Tail. So, because he is burned. And, come on. Yes! Okay, so we knocked out the Laron. That's good. Um, but definitely, we still are in a predicament. Croconaw, I'm really bummed that he's out. Um, and we're kind of just sitting with Magnemite. But, depending on what he does here, we can make a move. He can't move Shelgon down. Okay, so he moves him over, which is fair play. And, no! I have a sore. What are you doing, mate? Alright, Ivasaur has fallen, so here's what we do. We're going to end our turn. I think we are going to cap off the entry point. I think that's what we're going to do. Interesting. You know what? Before we do here, let's double chance with our Poliwag. And the reason why I'm doing that, guys, is because if I can hit him with Hypnosis... That Cacnea will be done. Oh, we did it! Oh my god, it worked on the first try? So that's what I wanted. I wanted the Hypnosis because it would take his Shelgon three turns to wake up Cacnea. Well, two turns if we... Roughly two turns. But I can block off with Poliwhirl over here. So... He's gonna attack with Charmeleon. Come on. Okay, yeah. The Shelgon is gonna be kind of hard to knock out. I think that we are going to go up here with uh, Poliwag, and he's going to keep attacking Searing Shot. Yo, Searing Shot! Now that Poly that Shelgon is literally almost useless, so we will attack it with uh, Poliwag, hoping for the, the knockout on a miss, and a Hypnosis. I'll take that. So he's going to put him to sleep here. The Cacne is not doing anything. Let's check his plates. He's just going to wake him up. I'd rather get knocked, like get a miss or something with... Oh, man. Okay, dodge. That's fine. 
We're trying to knock out the Shelgon and then cap off the entry point with Charmeleon. He's gonna attack very... And, oh, Hypnosis again. Oh man, that got rid of the burn. Okay, I didn't think of that. So I'm actually gonna attack Wartortle here. And Searing Shot, that's okay. The dodges will become misses. He's forced to wake up his Shelgon, which it, he can't surround me immediately, so I will go for the attack here. Come on, Charmeleon. Yes, Charmeleon, you are a god. Okay. He's going to have to move back at this point um, with Shelgon. And I will um, put Charmeleon on the entry point because we kind of have to. Now, Cacnea cannot do anything. So I think we're actually going to go ahead and... And I do have a goal block too, so... He's going to X-Attack with who? Doduo against Magnemite? Oh my gosh. Magnemite, hit T-Wave, hit T-Wave. Yo, the T-Wave, no way. He's paralyzed now. Okay, okay. How do we win this game? How do we win this game? All right, I think I'm going to move Geodude down because... The thing is, is that that Cacnea is useless, he can't do anything, so we can definitely advance with Geodude. And, oh my god, the T-Wave again, you are epic, you are epic Magnemite. So let's go ahead and go up with uh, Geodude here. And we're definitely not going to wake up the Cacnea. He's going to keep attacking, he has no choice, we've got him on the ropes right now, can we finish it? Don't hit it again, oh, thank you, okay. Alright, so it's going our way right now, guys. The dual gods are going our way. Can Magnemite survive another hit here? Come on. Oh my gosh, another neutral turn. Alright, Geodude, I need a self-destruct. I need a self-destruct. Hit it. And, oh, that's not a self-destruct. It's okay, though. It's okay. He's gonna keep going for the attack here, which is smart. Um, no, the miss! The miss on the Magnemite, which forces us to put a uh, Poliwag on there, and now it's... But if I put him to sleep, that could be game. So, if he attacks with Doduo and I get Hypnosis, that is game. But, so that might actually make him move back, maybe? Let's just see what he wants to do here. He's thinking about it. He's thinking he does have a Hurdle Jump and a Counter Attack, which if he Hurdle Jumped with Doduo... Then he could counterattack, maybe. Um, I think he's thinking about his options right now because obviously this is not the path to righteousness. Wow, very interesting. So I'm gonna put Croconaw on just because I. Oh! Oh my god, I just lost. Oh my god, I just lost. I just lost the game. Are you kidding me? I totally forgot about Bite Instinct. No. No. What? All right. That is tragic, my friends. So very tragic. I cannot. I. Oh, my God. I cannot even fathom what just happened. I'm going to stop the recording. We'll get into game three in just a minute. Alright guys, so we're going to go into game 3 here. If I lose this now, I will literally never forgive myself because I had it, guys. I could have won that game. I should have just moved with Geodude. What was I freaking thinking with Croconaut? Man! Oh, gosh. This is, this is, this is dangerous, man. This is dangerous. We had that game. I really, oh, man. I Alright All right, guys, it's okay. It's okay. We can win game 3. Um, that was all my fault, but, you know, and if we lose because of it, it's my game, so, I, you know, I will suffer, I will fall at my own sword, and, uh, the good thing is we're going first, so we can kind of go for the same strategy, because it worked last time, except for my idiot mistake. I cannot believe myself at this moment in time. So, what we'll do here is we'll do the same thing. Um, he's probably gonna go, okay, the Poliwag goes there, so I think my best chance to start, now nah, let's go for the Magnemite here, end our turn, he might just want to Hurdle Jump, um, just to go really aggressive to change up his game, but I'm not sure, 
So depending on what he does, we can definitely counter, but I'm a little, yeah, he's gonna, yeah, I kind of figured that he would do that, um, which is okay. So we'll go ahead and take the goal with Poliwag. Not great if he X attacks, but I could put him to sleep. Who knows, he's sorry about all that noise, guys, it's my cats. Um, he's gonna go up there, so why don't we send Charmeleon, who is one of our strongest Pokemon, right over here. And next turn we can surround the Poliwag if he's not careful, so definitely an intriguing decision here. Uh, he's gonna go for a double chance on Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl on Poliwhirl, very interesting, and a dodge, that's awesome. So. Poliwag definitely rolled favorable in, in our position there, and we will go ahead and put Geodude here so that we can surround the Poliwag next turn uh, with Charmeleon, I think. So, oh man, I, can't, I still cannot get over that loss. I, that's the stupidest loss I've ever had. Um, and I also put Geodude because, now he can put me to sleep, I don't really mind. Um, I will put Ivasaur over here. And if he wants to attack me, he'll just wake me up. But uh, that Poliwag is pretty much done, so that's good. He can't escape anywhere uh, because of that Ivasaur. So at least we'll get the Poliwag out. But man, I cannot believe this. We are going to. This is round three. This is game three. Everything is on the line right now. He's going to X attack. Hit Hypnosis, please. Haha, <laughs> dodge. You yeah, let's go. So that's good because he woke him up, which means that I can, in fact, surround with Charmeleon. And I definitely... I, I refuse to lose, guys. I'm not going to lose this game. Doduo comes out. I know that Bite Instinct is going off right now. I remember, guys. I remembered it. And Scary Face. That's fine with me. So we'll just push him back one. And uh, we can go for... We can keep going for the attack with the Croconaw, I think. I think that's our best decision here. Obviously, I know about the bite instinct. It's not going to happen again. And the good thing is, if I cap off the... Ooh, that's actually perfect. Because if I cap off this entry point with the duo, who has weight... Come on, move him. I pick there, guys. There we go. I swear to God, I picked it like three times. So, now we can actually go in here. And we can attack Wartortle too, I don't mind. He's got a pretty good chance to beat him. Oh my gosh, I think we just won, guys. Oh, <gasps> did we just win? Did we just win? Please tell me we just won. Oh, his I forgot about his Doe Duo. No, it's okay. It's okay though, guys, because I am gonna bite instinct this. Maybe Croconaw can just bulldoze a win. Oh my god. Is he gonna bulldoze a win? He can't hurdle jump. He doesn't have a goal block. His only option is to attack with Wartortle. Or scoop up... No, guys. He's got to attack with Wartortle. And he doesn't have his X attack anymore. Which So he's literally banking on a miss. He's banking on a miss or a four rapid spin. Because nothing can reach my Croconaw except for Wartortle. Even if he scoops up Laron, he's... This is, this is dangerous, guys. I think we might have just won. Which would redeem us so much. Come on, do it. Yes, we won. Guys, oh my god, after that tragic mistake. You guys, I cannot believe it. Thank you. Thank you, dual gods. We got the victory. That was so scary, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Talk to Chocto right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the Pokemon YouTube tournament, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you're following all the other YouTubers. Um, and I'm just excited now, guys. So that's it for your boy Shup. And Shup at Speed signing off.